Good morning, little boy. Good morning, YouTube. It's early. I don't want to get out of bed. Dude. Look at the sun shining, dude. We're going to have to get some curtains for there. Maybe blinds. That would be nice. Well, that's a welcome sight to see this morning. I've been having issues with my fireplace for the last two weeks. At first, it was the uh, orifice, which is a little nut with a small little thing for the propane to go through. Well, when I went to take the nut off, it broke, so I had to get it replaced. And the second thing was it needed a thermal coupler, which measures heat or something like that. And that had to be replaced. And finally, Tootin adjustments. <laughs> yeah, it kept shutting off on me. Anyways, we got that all together. I also I built myself some shelves to go above my headboard and my footboards. We can never have too much storage space. I'm thinking of maybe putting um, baskets up here and putting clothes and stuff up here, uh, in my shaving kits, etc. Yada yada. Uh, and it also makes a great TV stand. You saw that with my computer. Uh, we can never have enough storage, and we're constantly looking for ways of re reusing old storage. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Well. Let's get out of bed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Her. Is it ever cold this morning? I was quite shocked because when I looked outside earlier, I couldn't see outside. There was so much fog. Um, I just sat down here and had my fireplace going. I could feel a coldness around. One, I do have a fan running. And two, it's only one degree outside. I didn't check the humidity. But I just cranked up the stove and get the fan going. Maybe I'll put my ceiling fan, turn it on, will force some of the air down, or the heat down. And we'll get this morning started. First off, fix your hair, Brent. <laughs> then we'll have to do some dishes, clean up the countertop, and probably, you know, I'm thinking. After sitting here in the compound for quite a while and going through some serious adjustments in my life. We should go on an adventure. Maybe a local one. Come on. There we go. <laughs> so the fog's rolling back in. The temperature's coming up a bit. It's nice and warm in here. So we're just doing up some more videos for you guys. And uh, I'm waiting for the sun. Kind of like this nothing to do thing. <laughs> I think the dude does too. Well, dude, today's a new day. Are you ready for it?
Well, yesterday turned into one of those days. And I think this video is gonna be talking about all of those days. <sighs> Firstly, I'm going to apologize because I feel my quality of life has affected my quality of viewing entertainment for you guys. Let's just say Brent hasn't felt up to par in a number of, I'm going to say weeks, maybe months. Um, and I don't like to blame. I tried to remove that word from my vocabulary many, many years ago. So I've been really self-searching myself to wonder how I got myself into this predicament. Some of you may have noticed the predicament I got myself into and some of you may not have. But Brent found himself getting involved in a relationship. And you know, it was good. Uh, I was out having fun and you know, a lot of entertainment, a lot of, I don't know, maybe it was the tourist guide in me that was being fulfilled. Um, the company that became part of my life. But more so, I thought I actually found somebody that was like-minded and, and loved life like I did. Uh, it's funny how um, things change. Hmm. Anyways, things didn't work out and actually got kind of ugly and Brent moved on finally. And uh, the one thing I noticed as I was editing videos all day yesterday and I was stuck in a rut. And I was watching these videos and well, I realized they weren't up to par. I couldn't seem to keep my mind focused on me trying to do content and it does take a lot of work for making a good video. We kind of have to figure out what we're filming before we film it. And we need to like have a little story behind it. And I just found mine was hodgepodging all over the place. And, and uh, yeah, I would given myself away from the things that I love. And, and here I sit today kicking myself. What I learned about me was I'm very forgiving and I took a lot of abuse. Um, people like myself I think we've all been through it. Um, go through things in our life that really, really we need to look at one another. Especially ourselves. Because the only people we can fix is us. Don't worry about other people. And um, I blame my mom and dad for that. <laughs> they were very caring people. My dad would bend over backwards to help his friends and my mom, well, she was just such a loving person and and I inherited some of those traits and, and sometimes we just, I don't know, we always see the best in people. We try to, that's I tried to. So I didn't know when to let go. So today is the day we start fresh. We start new. 
It is uh, the beginning of new month. It is the beginning of spring. And it's the beginning of Brent's van life's tour du Canada. <laughs> We're actually heading east, but I need to pull my head out of my butt and start focusing on the good things in life. And we'll get back to some cool adventures and seeing some cool things. But first off, we're gonna go find somewhere where it's less windy and a little warmer, <laughs> okay? We'll continue this in a sec. That little island over there is known as Shack Island. The ocean breeze has pushed me a bit away from the ocean here, so I'm gonna go sit somewhere else where it's uh, a little more pleasant and I need to clear my head. I really don't know what this video is about. I think it's about getting in touch and talking to you guys and trying to clear my head and try to celebrate what's right with the world. I know that in the next week, I have a few things I need to do. I have a doctor's appointment on Thursday, which is three or four days away. And then I have to get off the island and meander east to visit a dear friend in Kelowna. I'm just struggling to let go of the past. I'm angry. No. The dude doesn't like me using that word, I guess. I learned about friendships. Well, I don't even want to call them friendships. People wanting to be your friends. Um, really makes it a little bit more difficult for myself being, I guess, in the public eye to want to be around people that watch me and, well, tell me they enjoy my videos. I don't think you can see it in the last videos, but um, there was some strange behaviors happening that you just have to accept they're other people. Acceptance is the key to all of our problems. I'm gonna strangle my dog, but I have to accept him. Yeah, acceptance. I have to accept that I chose to stay in a spot that was not well. And I have to look at myself and wonder why. I was asked that question quite a number of times. Why do you stay? And my answer was, because I see the good in people. But I guess I'm gonna have to see things differently because I now understand when people are told at a young age that they're stupid and they're dumb and they don't know anything and how later in life that can actually stick to you and make you feel like that because this is kind of how I'm feeling now and and I know I'm an adult and I know better but I can't shake it right now it's just <sighs> so today 
We're going to try and turn that around. I just got out of a meeting with an old friend who has reached out and wants to help me with my channel. We're going to see what we can do. And I'm going to just be in charge of doing this. So I got to create, I need to film and I need to act and I need to edit and I need to make stuff for you guys. That's right. Brent's fan life is back and he's back with a vengeance. Well, <laughs> I'm well on the right anyways. <sighs> so again, I'm sorry. Uh, I love all you guys and I appreciate that you stick with me through the thick and thin, even though you don't know what's going on, but you might see it in my productions. <laughs> God, I was laughing at myself, going like, geez, I didn't film anything. I, I, I haven't done anything. In, oh my God. Then I couldn't edit. And, uh, I was like, ah. Yeah. They say love is blind. <laughs> Has anybody seen my walking stick? We still have a gray cloud above us, but you know what? It's going to get better every day. Summer is just around the corner, and uh, we're going to start enjoying life to its fullest again. I promise. Uh, just a quick little P.S. I wish those that, um, well, that are a part of this, I wish them well, and I wish them a good life, and I wish nothing but happiness for them. And um, thank you for making me more aware of my life. Thank you.